National Championship. Michigan's going to have a couple of freshmen expected to play huge roles in the National Championship game tonight. But one signee who will never score a bucket, never play in a game, has had a huge impact on this group of Wolverines, not only as players, but also as young men. Tonight, when Michigan goes for the national championship, a 12-year-old will live vicariously through them, will live and die with every shot his friends and his teammates take on the court, and he will be part of the result, win or lose. The story will come his way in a way his family never could have imagined. Here's the story of Jude Stamper, courtesy of the Big Ten Network series, The Journey. My name is Jude Stamper, and I'm 12. Jude was diagnosed about two days after he was born with something called AMC, or arthritis. Arthrogryposis, basically what that is, is that it's a stiffening of the joints and ligaments and tendons. It's very difficult from a range of motion standpoint. How you doing today? He doesn't have full range of motion in most all of his joints. Thankfully, it's not life-threatening, but uh, at the same time, um, he's going to have to live with that and, and work through that through the rest of his life. Doing small things like getting dressed, putting on socks, he still can't put his own socks on yet going upstairs, it's things that we don't think about. We just go. It's something he has to think about, he has to work toward. My arms, I can't lift them over my head, so I can't like shoot a basketball or whatever. I remember one summer he had that realization that he can't play sports. There was kids in the backyard playing a wiffle ball, and he just said, Dad, I just, I just want to run. As a parent, that just breaks your heart. It was pretty difficult because I wanted to do things like my other friends could do. But, you know, Jude is obsessed with sports. He's been watching football with me, basketball with me, uh, since he was little. I just liked watching the games because I couldn't play any of the sports, so I just want to somebody else do it. Jude's been a huge Michigan sports fan and been following the football and basketball team for as long as I can remember. Our team uh, just got bigger. Uh, it's a very important thing for us. It's an honor to share our sideline with Larry. Uh, he was... I had he was all seen Larry Prout Jr. was drafted onto the Michigan men's football team, so that sparked my interest. And so I looked up Team Impact. What Team Impact does is it takes kids with special needs and it pairs them with university sports teams. Got in touch with them, sent in an application, and he was accepted. Seven months later, we were notified that Jude was being um, considered by a certain Michigan team. Team Impact called us and they said, that a special place, a special university, wanted our son. And a special team wanted our son. This is a message of hope. A child that couldn't otherwise be on a sports team, let alone for college, is now a part of a program. Team Impact. It's a great idea to have teams adopt and add somebody to your roster, sign them to a letter of intent, bring them into your team and your community. Put them right here in the middle, probably. Yeah. I was really nervous because the camera's everywhere. And but I was also really excited because it was like the official day that I was getting signed on. And there you go, right there. You sign your letter of intent right there to become a Wolverine for life. Yeah! 
it felt really good after when and I was officially a member of the team. When Jude was first drafted, we didn't quite know what to expect. We didn't know how intense or how much we were going to be able to, Jude was going to be involved in the program. You know, we thought a game here or there, uh, maybe a practice. Really, really good on you. Thank you. Go blue. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think Coach Beeline and this team, they've taken it to the next level for us. They include him in practice. They interact with him at practice. Coach Beeline comes up to him right away. He's not like, hey, there's this kid with some challenges that we're helping out as a charity. No, he's their friend right now. I mean, they respect him. He's everywhere. Uh, he's really a part of the team. Yeah, I, I, I suck at it, but I like it. He goes through everything we go through. I've only played him once. I, I ain't last long. <laughs> he goes to film with us. He's at practice. He's training table with us. He's everything. Just always got a smile on his face. And I think the perspective and positivity that he brings to this team, I think, has really made a difference this year. This young man brings energy to us every day, and he has really just a, a been an inspiration to our team. I get to have like the opportunity to be like with them and um, be on a team like that that I don't have the opportunity to do, and like in my like physical life, it's very special. What greater way can you feel loved and included and part of a team? Those are the things that Coach Beeline and this team, they'll never understand what they're doing for my son. And Jude is in San Antonio, and he'll be watching his teammates play tonight to try to get the national championship. Thanks once again to our friends at the Big Ten Network in the series, The Journey. He's on a group text with those guys. They play video games online with him. He'll be out there living and dying with every shot as the Wolverines go for the title.